There is a well-known saying, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. In today's society, we are very preoccupied with ourselves. We are so busy with social media, sport, schoolwork, our jobs, hobbies, commitments, the list goes on. We need to stop and think about how to make others feel loved and cared for. So, how do we make someone else feel appreciated? The simple answer is kindness. My mum, little sisters and I were enjoying a beachside park when I noticed a middle-aged man wheeling around a trolley filled with garbage bags. After observing him for a little while longer, it clicked. He was homeless. I begged mum desperately to do something, anything for him. So off we went in search of a grocery store to buy him some fresh food and some other essentials. We arrived back at the waterfront and eventually found the man presenting him with the bag of necessities. He gratefully accepted our offering and wheeled his trolley away, muttering, God bless you. That afternoon, I felt so cheerful because I had done something thoughtful for a complete stranger. I started to think. Kindness is powerful. It really does make the world a better place. So I decided to do a bit of research and discovered that just witnessing an act of kindness can make you happier and healthier. How? Number one, have you ever heard of the love hormone oxytocin? Well, oxytocin plays an important role in increasing our bonds with others, self-esteem and positivity. Kindness creates emotional warmth, which stimulates the production of oxytocin in the hypothalamus area of the brain, which is largely involved in the secretion of varying hormones. Each cell nucleus in the hypothalamus is vital to our body's basic functions, such as regulating temperature and memory. Not only this, but oxytocin also causes the release of the signaling molecule nitric oxide. Nitric oxide dilates our blood vessels, and when arteries open, blood and oxygen flow increases. Therefore, our oxygen, therefore our blood pressure is reduced. Yes, a healthy amount of oxytocin is vital. Number two, kindness increases the production of serotonin. Found in the brain, bowels, and blood platelets, this chemical is a neurotransmitter. In other words, your body's chemical messenger. Serotonin is also known as the happiness molecule. Why? It is believed to play an important role in maintaining our happiness and reducing depression. Number three, kindness reduces cortisol, a hormone found in our adrenal glands just above our kidneys. Cortisol is also nicknamed the stress hormone as it plays an important role in reducing our in it plays an important role in helping us to respond to stress or danger. Number four, kindness increases the number of endorphins in the brain. Endorphins are essential. They are the body's natural stress relievers and painkillers, and what's more, they increase your self-esteem. Number five, kindness improves our relationships with others. Generally, we want to be perceived as someone trustworthy, thoughtful and likeable, and demonstrating an act of kindness helps others to see us in that way. Kindness has also been proven to increase our lifespan. A study at the University of California found that elderly people who were regular volunteers were less likely to die during the following five years. What's even more incredible is the fact that those who volunteered for just two organizations had a 63% lower mortality rate. Wow, stronger results than exercising four times a week. Did you know that kindness is contagious? Another study found that People who just witnessed an act of kindness were inspired to be generous and compassionate too. The study also discovered that just one act of kindness has the potential to benefit hundreds of people.
Best of all, kindness is teachable. Practice incorporating acts of kindness into your life. It will become natural. You may not know where to start, but how about writing a positive review for your favourite local business just around the corner, giving your pet some much wanted attention, complimenting your teammate on how amazingly they played during that sports match, or welcoming that new neighbour into your street. There are so many simple ways to make a difference. Why don't you start small? Try performing one act of kindness every week. If you reach Sunday and you find this hasn't happened, make that your goal for the day. American author Leo Buscaglia stated, too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, an honest compliment, or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. So, I encourage you to be kind today, tomorrow, this week, and every week after. Spread kindness. It might, it might just make someone's day, and your day too. Thank you.